What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just ordered this laptop. It's an HP Stream 14, and I believe I got it refurbished. I'm almost positive that's, <laughs> if I recall, when I was ordering it. Uh, and that's because uh, it's cheaper this way, and I've had a really good luck with refurbished products. Oh, man, they blew this flap down, so that must be part of the refurbishing process. And here is the HP Stream. Now, I, the HP Stream to me is kind of an interesting use case. It comes in this bubble wrap here, which is cool. Um, because it's actually a pretty big laptop. And, yeah, all right. So this is, now I'm remembering. <laughs> this is absolutely refurbished, but it was in like new condition. So that's what I got. Uh, so it's an interesting case to me, and it kind of is fitting a need right now. And you can see here, it's really actually pretty nice looking. This is all plastic bodied, um, and not a super high-end plastic body, but it looks nice because it has kind of this um, line pattern here. So it actually looks kind of premium. And in the gray, I guess it's black or gray, you almost might look at it and think it's metal, like a, a bead blasted. Um, kind of space gray, but it's not, it's, it's plastic and it looks pretty nice. And even the logo there, it's like uh, an insert and it's pretty shiny, which is pretty clever. And the bottom is a rough texture, also plastic. You do have a couple of these silicone lines here to kind of keep it um, in place as you're using it. We have what look like speaker vents there. I don't see any other vents uh, on this side. What we have is a headphone jack, it looks like. Uh, really nice, thin, construction it actually reminds me a lot of like the uh, MacBook Airs see here kind of the glossy plastic hinge and then on this side is where we get a lot of the stuff a lock here HDMI regular port three USB ports uh, that is a headphone jack so maybe on the other side it is the power cord sorry about that SD card here looks like we have a little light for the power and so I'm pretty impressed with this and because uh, it's 14 inch, it's pretty large. Yeah, so the other side must be the power board. And I guess my, the cases, look, I wanna show you there. There's a little tab kind of off the edge of the front uh, top there to help get a little bit of um, leverage on it. And so that looks pretty good, man. I'm pretty impressed with this, uh, especially as a refurb. Like I said, it's definitely living up to the billing of being in perfect condition. Uh, we do have a webcam up there a nice it's a very glossy screen no anti-reflection on it and then down here we've got the hp logo and again it's all this kind of cheap plastic i mean that's why these things are only you know in the high hundreds i mean <laughs> high 100s i think they're like 199 bucks or something retail you can kind of see the fit and finish isn't great the way they kind of make it is is efficient but it's not like a super high-end material. But I do like the fact that they put in some lines here. Uh, that that, that kind of gives a little bit of spiciness. We've got the power button up here. I'm not sure if there's any power in it right now, but try it. White chiclet style keyboard. You can see that it's absolutely powering up. And then we've got a little space on either side. And that looks all pretty good, matte finish. I can tell you, keyboard travel and feels, seems good. It's a little bit of a shallow travel for sure. The trackpad is not the largest trackpad in the whole world and it's plastic there. And as you can see, it's booting up. Now, the thing is, for me, there's a lot of times when I want to work on a laptop and have something a little bit bigger than my 12 inch MacBook, you know, bigger screen, uh, you know, if I'm working on video editing or having a couple documents, those couple inches make a big, big difference. And you can get that in this stream, you know, this 14 incher, a big screen. It's only got a small hard drive, 32 gigs, which basically leaves you no room. It's gonna work like an Ultrabook, even kind of like a Chromebook, but you get the full Windows experience. So you're not watered down. You can kind of get access to every, every website, uh, download some local files, use Google Drive, whatever, um, you know, install Microsoft Office if you need to. And that was really my point is that there are a number of times when I need to sit down and use a bigger screen, um, be in a Windows environment, especially because that's what... Hi there, uh, I'm Cortana. Hi Cortana, to help. how are you? Okay, you can stop interrupting A little video. sign in No, here, please, quiet, Wi-Fi quiet, there, quiet, Cortana. And we'll have your PC that's ready it, for all you it. plan to do. Quiet, quiet. Um, you can use your right, voice stop, or the keyboard stop, along the stop, way. Stop, Cortana. Wow, Microsoft, you make an annoying computer. 
Um, so despite how much I hate Microsoft and I hate Windows, it's still uh, kind of the ubiquitous platform for work and so that's why it's nice to have that and then to be portable. And whether I show you to you uh, my tread, not treadmill, but my exercise bike with a built-in desk, this would be a great place to use this where you're just not, um, you don't need a full-fledged computer, but you want a bigger screen and a full keyboard because you're kind of moving around as you're using it. Uh, that's really a perfect use case for it. You're going on the road um, and you want to take a computer with you, but you might not even need it. This is a full-blown computer. And the other thing I will say is that you don't also have to sweat damage to it, right? If a kid destroys it, if you lose it on a trip, uh, if it gets uh, destroyed in your luggage, something like that, it's not kind of your high-end laptop that is getting destroyed. It's not the, it's not... Um, a high-end laptop that's getting damaged or losing a lot of value. And I will say that uh, the reality is that this puts it squarely in the same price point as a lot of Chromebooks, and yet you still get full-blown full, full blown Windows. So there's really no compromise in case you have to do something, some heavy lifting in a pinch. So check it out. I will put a link to this one in the description. I'm going to be using it, though. Peter Rump, hand out.